welcome to Kids Yoga with Ruth and Christina. Today, Christina and I are going to teach you some yoga poses that you can learn to love. And meanwhile, we're going to pretend we are unicorns. If you feel like dressing up like a unicorn, push pause now. Go get on your unicorn outfit and come right back. We'll be here waiting. All right, we're going to go ahead and sit together in a hero pose. So come on to your knees, take your hands and place them on your quads, on your legs. Inhale fully, big breath in, expand your belly, and a long sigh out. Inhale, expand like a hot air balloon, and exhale, deflate. Inhale again. And exhale. From here, we'll come to hands and knees and cat and cow. Melt your heart, bring your tailbone up, your eye gaze up, inhale, and then exhale. But we're gonna pretend we're unicorns. So our unicorn eyes come up, and our unicorn eyes go down, and look at our toes. Again, inhale, big breath, unicorn breath in, all that glitter and magic. Exhale, sharing all that glitter and magic with the world around you. Again, inhale, bring those unicorn eyes up, and exhale, unicorn eyes down. Good job. From here, we're gonna go into a downward dog. So lift your hips high and send your heels down. Alternate right knee bend, left knee bend, or keep both heels planted into the ground. From the side view, it looks like this. And come back down. Knees again. Inhale, come up high. Lift your hips high and send your heels low. This is downward dog, but we'll call it downward unicorn. And back to hands and knees in the unicorn position. Good job. Now from here, we're going to come back onto our hands and knees again. And slowly stand up. Bring your arms up high. Big breath in. And hands to heart center. Good. Release the hands. Inhale. Sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale. Hands to heart center. From here, we're going to do some warrior poses. So step forward with your right foot. Step back a little with your left foot. Good. Bend your front knee. If you need to, come to one knee on the ground. That's fine too. Sweep your arms up overhead. Bring your arms high. Good. Warrior one. Next pose is called warrior two. Drop the back foot down. Open up the arms. Extend and reach. If you need to, keep both legs straight. If you can, bend the front knee. Good. The next one is called peaceful warrior. We're going to hinge forward together and reach your right arm high to the sky. Good. Christina's going opposite me because we're facing each other. Good. Exhale. Release back up. Warrior two. Good, and then come back to warrior one. Again, if it feels better, come to your knee here instead. We'll come to our knee together anyway for crescent lunge. Bring your hips forward, reach your arms back, 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 and take your arms back behind you. Are you a pretty unicorn? We love unicorns. And then come back forward. Good job, stand up tall, and back to mountain pose. Good. Reach your arms up overhead. Opposite side now. We're going to step way back with our right foot and our left foot is forward. If you need to, come to your right knee if that feels better for you. Extend through both legs. Reach through the arms. Good. That's warrior one. Warrior two, drop the back foot down and open up the arms. Reach through the arms if you need to. Keep both legs straight. That's okay too. Otherwise, bend the front knee. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Hinge forward a little bit and bring the left arm high to the sky. Now, drop the right arm down the back leg. Maybe take your eye gaze up towards the sky. Do you see any unicorns flying in the sky? I sure do. Exhale, release back out to warrior two. And then warrior one again. Here we go. If you need to, come to your knee like Christina. That's good too. Next will be crescent lunge. Everybody come to your knee together. Pull your hips forward, reach your heart high, extend your arms back, and take your eyes back again to the sky. See if you see any unicorns flying by. 
Good, and tuck your back toe under, rise again, and come back to mountain pose, standing tall. Good job. We're gonna shake it out a little bit. You did a lot of work. Shake your legs, shake your arms, make it wiggle around in a circle. Something kids like to do is pretend they're walking like a unicorn. So if you feel like doing that, put your hands on the ground and kick your legs up high. Kick your legs up high. See if your legs can reach the sky. Pretend you're bucking like a unicorn. Good job. Good. Come back to hands and knees. And again, to unicorn breath. Inhale, eyes come up. This is cat and cow, but we'll pretend we're unicorns. Exhale. Take your eyes back towards your toes. Inhale, lift your breath again. And exhale, take your eyes back. Good job. From here, back to our downward dog, or today, downward unicorn. Lift your hips high and send your heels low. Relax your neck and your jaw. And then step both feet forward and rise to chair pose. One more unicorn here is going crazy. Lift through the arms, sink in the hips. Pretend you're sitting on a chair, just like that, good. And then we're gonna take our palms together, bend our elbows and rotate to the right. So our left elbow comes up over our right up knee, good job. If you can, reach one arm high to the sky. Take the other hand to your chest. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, sweep the arms back to chair. Opposite side, palms together, bend the elbows, rotate to the opposite side. So we take our right elbow up over our left quad. Good job. If you want, bring your left arm high and take your right hand to your heart. Good. Exhale, release and stand up tall. Shake it out a little bit. Good job. And mountain pose. In mountain pose, you press your heels into the earth, lengthen through your legs, lengthen through your torso, roll your shoulders back, and drop your hands at your sides. Inhale, big breath in, and exhale, sighing out. Inhale again, exhale, sighing out. It's good to just notice your heartbeat and your breath. And maybe notice what thoughts are coming through your mind. Maybe you're envisioning a unicorn or a happy day. Good, sweep your arms up overhead, big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. From here, we're gonna forward fold and touch our toes. Then bring your hands to the earth. Hands to your shins, a flat back, big breath in. Exhale, drop your hands to the earth again. Let's do it again, big breath in, hands to shins. Good, smiling all the time. Exhale, sighing out, hands to the earth. Again, inhale, hands to your shins. And this time to come up and out, we're gonna come very slowly. Let your arms be heavy and wiggle your way back up to standing. Roll your shoulders back, stand in mountain pose again. We're gonna go through our warrior poses again now because we're trying to learn something new today. So first, warrior one. You're gonna separate your feet again. So right foot forward, left leg back. Good, and again, if you would like to come to your knee like Christina, sweep your arms up overhead as you bend your front knee. Reach your arms high. Good, warrior one. Warrior two pose, we're gonna open up our arms and drop our back foot down. If you'd like to, you can keep both legs long and straight and extend through both arms. Otherwise, bend the front knee. Good. Peaceful warrior, again, reach the right arm high and the back leg goes down on the back side. Reach back out to warrior two. Good. And then we're gonna rotate back around to warrior one. Nice job. From here to crescent lunge, drop to the left knee, or if you're on the right knee, that's good too. Bring your hips forward, bring your heart high, and begin check the sky for unicorns. Take your eye gaze up. Good, tuck your back toe under, standing tall again in mountain pose. Opposite side, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna step back this time with our right foot, big step back. Our front knee is bent, or you can come to your right knee if that feels better for you. Sweep your arms up overhead for warrior one. Good, hold here. Find your breath, inhale, exhale. 
Good. Drop your back foot down and open up your arms. Here, if you'd like to, you can also keep both legs straight and reach through the arms. Bend the front knee if you can. Good. And then peaceful warrior. Hinge forward, turn the left arm high to the sky and reach the right arm down your back leg. Big breath here still. And a long sigh out. Peaceful warrior. Release back out to warrior two and come around to warrior one. Come to the knee like Christina again if that feels good for you. Nice. From here to crescent lunge, come to the right knee. Bring your hips forward, heart high, eye gaze back, and reach back with your arms. Take your eye gaze high. Again, do you see any unicorns flying by? Maybe they're leaving a trail of glitter. All right, let's stand back up for your one and mountain pose. Good job. We're going to come to a seated position now on the mat. Shake our legs out just a little bit. You kids are doing great. The next pose is called boat pose. Let's pretend we're unicorns and we are all getting on a boat together to sail out to sea. Are you ready for boat pose? Take your hands at your sides, bend your knees in close, flex your feet and reach your arms forward. If that's too much, you can keep your heels on the ground. Like Christina, good job. Otherwise, float your legs. If you want to go even further, another option would be to extend your legs high and reach through your arms. <laughs> Let's have fun together. Pretend you're sailing in your boat or bend your knees or keep your heels planted. We're on our boats out to sea. Good, come back down. From here, we're gonna come on to extended legs, Dandasana staff pose. Press through your heels so our feet are flexed. Can you show me the bottoms of your feet? Good. Lift your arms up overhead and then hinge forward, reaching for your toes. Walk your fingertips back, back, back. Reach the arms high again and hinge forward, reaching for your toes. Walk your hands back, back, back. Inhale, big breath in and reach once more for your feet. Good. Bring both knees into your chest now and sweep them over to the right side bending our knees. Yeah, sitting up tall. Walk your hands over to the left now. So both hands are to the left. And then you drop your eye gaze over to your right knee. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Kick your legs long. Shake them out a little bit. And we'll take both legs over to the left. Bend your knees. Drop your legs to the left. Feet knees are bent. And then walk your fingertips over to the right. And then drop your eye gaze over to your left knee now. Beautiful. Beautiful unicorns today. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. And come back to center. Shake your legs out again. We're almost finished with our practice together. So we're going to lie down. Pretend you found a little unicorn bed and you're going to lie down and be peaceful and quiet. Just like Christina is. Christina, if you would like to, you can lie across this way and show the kids where we're going. So we're lying flat. Our legs are long. Our arms are at our side. Christina has her favorite unicorn that she likes to rest with. When we're in Shavasana or rest and pose, we rest our arms at our sides. If you have a stuffy, you can even lay them on your belly and watch what happens when Christina breathes. She sends her hands to her sides. When she breathes really deeply, the unicorn puffs up. When she exhales out, the unicorn rests down. Go ahead, if you have a stuffy you'd like to put on your belly, you can grab that now. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, the unicorn puffs up. And exhale, it comes down, gives her a big, tight hug. Keep going, big breath in, long sigh out. If you'd like to, you can close your eyes down as well. That feels really good too. Continue to breathe here, resting quietly. If you'd like to, you can even put on your favorite music. 